Francisco Bay Area, more specifically Oakland, California, as the Golden State Warriors look to take the franchise's first title in almost 40 years. And from the Warriors' long title drought, we look across to the Miami Heat roster playing in their fifth straight finals, champions multiple times over. In some ways, Steve, a real David and Goliath matchup. But the Warriors playing on their home floor in front of one of the most rabid fan bases in the NBA. The Heat will have their work cut out for them tonight. So the opening lineup for the Heat, Wade and James, the wings with Bosch at the four. Oh, not the Chalmers. And for the Warriors, Steph, Clay, and Dre on the perimeter. David Lee is out there with Omer Usher. And then Wade slams it in. Boy, great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, it sure was. He made a beeline for the bucket as soon as they got the ball. Right away, straight to the rim. Now Curry. Omir Oshik playing in his second straight finals last season with the Houston Rockets, this year with the Golden State Warriors. And he brings the same defensive tenacity that they had gotten from Andrew Bogan, but a bit younger, better health in terms of the track record. And I think that's been key. This is his first chance at the line tonight. First one falls for him. On back to Ashik. He provides that backbone defensively. Yeah, so much of the Warriors' newfound success centers around their ability to defend and rebound the basketball. Ashik, terrific in both of these areas. He's been a really big addition to this club. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Curry gets the screen from Lee. They double team Curry. He lobs up the alley -oop pass and out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. He'd have gone two or three here to start off the game. Wade with it. Chalmers guarded by Kirk. And Odin backing in. LeBron outside. Pass the box. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Defense fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws here. Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. And so Bosch nails both of them. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Oh, here's Curry. He kicks to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Ashik. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. It's been a quick start for Miami. It's a three-point game. Come into this one after losing on Sunday. And one of the factors in that game was they just couldn't get to the foul line and get enough points from the free throw line to make a difference. And it gave those opposing fans a boost every time another foul shot clanked off the rim. They were letting them hear about that. Now here's LeBron. Odin gets to jump. Wade. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. LeBron passes to Oden, and the whistle blow. It's going to be on Andre Iguodala. That is his first foul of the game. And for the Heat, for so long, a small ball team. They took a flyer on Greg Oden, knowing that a lot of the competition in the East is getting bigger and stronger. And the former number one overall pick has paid off beyond their wildest expectations. This season, he's even stepped into their starting lineup at the center spot, giving them the size that they had left. Here's Curry following the basket by LeBron James. 